Hello my loves, I'm Rena Wells, your medicine woman and highly intuitive, and I'm here to do your twin flame soul mate level connections in separation, weekly collective energy check-in. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you like what you see as you're watching the video and my returning subscribers, can I talk? Um, you know, I love you guys. You know, I love you guys. And um, I've been getting a lot of requests for readings. So um, I know that I was only doing them for June, but I'm going to maybe change up my calendar and do limited numbers that I can take. I have a lot of coaching clients as well. So um, re uh, I'm going to do a video of the difference between a reading and coaching with me and do just a face on video so you guys can understand the difference and the kind of work that I do a little bit better. And I'm going to have just a select amount of readings. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's get started. Spirit wanted me to start a song came through cold play. Gravity was shown to me that we have a very remorseful, um, masculine in a deep place of depression and whatnot. And, um, if you hear any banging around, I'm very sorry. This is a very open house. And even though the door is closed, you can hear everything. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to link the lyrics down below or the link to the song but it's Coldplay Gravity, and this masculine has been praying is what I'm getting. And so Spirit wants me to start off with the Divine Masculine energy and to start off and see what energy he's currently at. So let's take a look. Uh, this is for, now I mostly, listen, I, I got a little bit triggered the other day. I was watching some readers and they're saying, oh, once you can get over the label, then you're more awakened. And I feel like saying calling bollocks on that, you know, if that was the case, then we wouldn't have first names. So everything in this 3D world has to be labeled something. And Twin Flame, even though I don't like the label, um, there are higher connections that are here, that are here to ascend the planet. And you need a label. And there's high level soulmates that work in tandem with uh, twin flames and I know that from my own personal experience and then there's other kinds of relationships not everyone is going to have their twin flame experience in this life because it's a highly evolved mission work to transcend earth into a new consciousness so I got a little bit triggered by that not triggered but it's just yeah I just I don't even know why I'm bringing that up but I, I guess because if you're watching this, you'll know where you fit. You're either a high level soulmate or a twin flame. That's who I work with. I, I don't work with karmic energies. I don't work with human compromising relationships. I work with divine, real connections from the father that were created, who are meant to be together in this lifetime. Okay. So I just wanted to put that out too. All right, so let's see where this divine mask, and I talk in the in the sense of twin flames, it's how I channel, so even if you're a high-level soulmate, please just know those are just labels, like in the sense for me to identify, because I am a genuine twin flame, all right? And you'll see that the magic happens here on my channel, <laughs> okay? Or if you come do ayahuasca with me, that's, uh, that's real magic. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. What is going on? With the divine masculine what is he wanting to come through here spirit for the collective what is this energy especially with the cold play song yeah he's thinking of his divine feminine here do you see this card is really beautiful this uh thinking about this divine feminine um was hanging on this is the masculine energy this tree you know and that she needs a strong support she can't she can't live with the masculine that's just this kind of tree trunk, you know, it's still a very immature tree that needs to grow and it's kept her in a dark place. So I'm feeling like he is feeling like he may just hurt his divine feminine. And because he loves her so much, he doesn't want, he doesn't have that stability to give to her. He sees that she's very potent energy and requires, you know, something very firm so what is this with his stability spirit? How is he feeling? Yeah. Yeah, he's not, he's focusing on the, on his own darkness here. He's crying here. Um, he's trying to transcend. We have two faces. This is like the, the message I got the other day of being split in two. Um, for some of them, if you look at that closely, there's two that's him and his higher self and trying to amalgamate that 
there's a lot of support that's coming through and he's still working through some deep shadow work but you see it's starting to it's just starting and this is what we're saying like there are two steps before this masculine can really come into union here it's starting to clear okay so he is working on his shadow work but he also knows that he doesn't have this stability for her to lean on yet you know she's got to hold that masculine part of the connection in order to uh thank you spirit is saying um thank you the divine feminine has to act and you know move between divine feminine divine masculine energies in order to keep this balance that's why it's so tiring divine feminine spirit is saying because you have to hold both energies as your masculine does this his shadow work here but he's working on it okay so that's where he's currently at in the energy they're telling me to pull another deck so we are going to grab divine counterparts in separation and we're going to see where this divine masculine is at right now where is this divine masculine currently at spirit in the collective in the twin flame collective that's funny let's just see what's here the third party knows the third party involved we got that with the reading this morning right coffee time um, we got that this morning that they are it's very heavy energy so we're going to look into the karmic energies today too the inner journey he's been going through this inner journey here nine 39 was the other one uh dead inside he knows it's worth it he hasn't been feeling anything I don't feel like this masculine has taken baby steps, not baby steps, but in comparison to the divine feminine energy, like the divine feminine has done a tremendous amount of work, a lot more than the masculine at this point, but he's about to level up. He knows that this work is worth it. Yeah, exactly. Because he's bringing in the karmic justice, strength, holding his ground, ending cycles, the world, narcissist energy. So he's wait. He's asking to wait. I mean, I would never say wait on anybody. You got to focus on, you know, your own balance in your own life. But you know if you're meant to be in a union, right? You know the work you've been putting into your life. Uh, balance here. And my love for you is deeper than the ocean. Wow. So those are some... This masculine wants to say a lot to you, okay? So um, let's take a look and see what is going on with the divine masculine energies. So yeah, so guys, I am going to open up the readings. I'm not ready right now to completely book and probably won't be. I'm completely booked for the next two weeks anyways. Um, so they probably won't open up for another two weeks because uh, I've got to try and balance my coaching clients, single new clients, and then that and my membership I have not been involved in because of the overwhelming bookings. Like I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine here, Spirit. What is going on with this Divine Masculine? Things have blown up a lot recently. What is going on? That's headspace, heart space. This is his heart space. His headspace, his heart space, his intentions right now in his life. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. That came out. That's his intention. And his outcome. He is being guided here. He's becoming illuminated. So yeah. His mind, he knows, you are my other half. So there is no question. And we saw that in the earlier reading that he has made the decision of, um, you know, moving towards this, right? He hasn't maybe finalized any of the foundational stuff or really pushing this, like telling the karmic, like, go take a freaking hike, lady, like it's over. Um, but um, in his heart, he's working on it, right? So he is a prisoner right now of his true abundance okay he has a lot of issues around him right now this has been coming up in the collective as well a lot of karmic energies trying to trap this masculine look at this cat like like especially looking at this one blue parrot like are you freaking kidding me right now you're like right on the door like i this is the karmic and may have gotten some allies against this this masculine but he knows he wants to action this my love is deeper than you deeper than the ocean my love for you is deeper than the ocean and illumination and guidance so look at these this got this gateway that came out here the trees and then the pillars you know it's like he's grounding heaven and earth heaven and earth 
<laughs> he's grounding heaven and earth. Yeah. He's walking through these different gateways. He has walked through the gateway of knowing how to ground and work in the mother energy of earth. Right now he is meeting the father. Now he's meeting the transcendence of creator force energy. So, wow. Whew. Heaven and earth like that. Hmm. What else do you want? Spirit. What else? They want me to do some mirrored messages for you guys so we can take a look at that. Oh, yeah. The emotional. Let me, just give me a second. I'm going to go through my decks because it's all intuitive, guys. All right. Let's see what messages he has. We're going to do this before tarot just to get an overview. Spirit is saying what is going on with the divine mask. And this is my deck that will be for sale soon. What is going on with the Divine Masculine? What messages does he have for the viewer, please? The Divine Masculine Energy. This one. No? All right. We've got a long message here. They want me to take this one upright. All right. We got a long ass message. <laughs> We're going to read the long one first, okay? Look at this. This masculine is taking responsibility, guys. And I've been feeling that in the energies too, okay? So here we go. It was never you. It was always me. I ran because I didn't know how to explain something I couldn't grasp. In all honesty, you awakened me out of a deep slumber and I couldn't articulate what I was experiencing. Then I felt ridiculous. As more time went on, my self-worth and inadequate feelings created a never-ending loop of self-deprecation. Wow. He's explaining, you know, what was going on with him. And this is part of that psychological loop, again, that came out in the collective. So I'm getting different pieces of different masculines. That's kind of how spirit works with me. I don't just work with want. Like, I get these different messages of, like, different segregated masculines, but they all interconnect somehow. Like, I'm able to see the web and the grid, you know, energetically. So, yeah, it was never you, Divine Feminine. You awoke in him, and he couldn't grasp it. He didn't understand that energy because he's never tangibly experienced that in his 3D world. And then he felt just so ridiculous. Like, he felt like a schoolboy. You know when a schoolboy has a crush? You know, and they're like, how do I deal with that? That is something else. All right. We have divine feminine energy. So take it as it resonates, guys. It's also the telepathic message your masculine is hearing within him and, and hearing what you're feeling at the time too. divine feminine message. Our love has reminded me that you were walking beside me my entire life. The presence I felt was you all along, and I had no idea until now. So spirit is saying, your masculine is saying, the divine masculine is saying, I, I feel that now. I recognize that it was you, divine feminine. I hear you now, because the divine feminine did feel that essence her whole life of her masculine with her. She's known of this love, you know. Divine Feminine, I am focused on mission and following the path Spirit is laying out for me. I am courageously stepping into the calling. I am noticing how much I am healing doing mission work. So Divine Feminine has either just discovered her gifts or working on herself and figuring out what she's doing for mission. And remember, guys, when you do mission work, it's constantly evolving. Spirit, nature ebbs and flows and creation always changes nothing is ever stagnant right we have different seasons we you can see that in the way that our world is so just know that wherever you're guided in your gifts you know is for mission and it doesn't matter what stage you're at it doesn't matter if you're running your own business yet or not or whatever it is you're on your way doing that okay and uh, divine masculine is feeling that on the inside all right divine masculine message I knew it was you, and the more we got to know one another, something stirred deeply within me. You fascinate me. You have awakened a part of me I had forgotten. In fact, I didn't even know this type of love existed. Exactly. He didn't know. It wasn't tangible. He's like, what is this? What is this? And so, yeah, this is where he he's at right now. Everything reminds me of you. So... This masculine is highly into his divine feminine, definitely feeling her. Um, yeah. So 
Spirit is giving me to go ahead to pull some tarot. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me see if there's any particular tarot deck that they want me to use. They want me to use, yeah, they're saying this one, the vice versa deck. So let's see, what is going on with this Divine Masculine? He knows this is a yin-yang balance. He knows that you're the other half, but he's trapped in his heart space here by this prisoner of his abundance. So we're going to get into the karmic energies as well. We're going to kind of do the same format. Spirit is guiding me for the karmic and then towards the Divine Feminine. And then um, we'll see how long that goes. And if I have time today, I will do Divine Feminine. If not, I will do Divine Feminine over the weekend, guys, for you, okay? What is going on here with this Divine Masculine? All right. Phew! What is going on Divine Masculine? He knows that you're his other half. Give us some tarot on that spirit. Six of Wands. He's a prisoner in his heart of his own abundance. Three of Wands. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. That's karmic energy. So his action is here between the karmic and his love for you. Okay. Uh, the outcome. <laughs> I've got a lot of outcome. I'm not going to take this. I'm going to put it back. But um, we have the Knight of Wands with the um, Divine Feminine here. Queen of Cups in reverse. Pushing Divine Feminine away. Holding his strength, taming his ego in his own entrapment because he knows he's pushed her away. Okay, so we're going to get different. Let's move these up. So we're going to have, you know how big my spreads get. All right. All right, give me just a little bit more redefine their spirit for the illumination and guidance. So he's guiding guidance about why he's pushed his divine feminine away. So we have judgment here thinking about a reconciliation. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. The High Priestess. Clarify the Three of Wands. The Seven of Cups. Clarify the Karmic Energy of the Queen. We have the Six of Wands in Reverse. This is Seven Cups in Reverse. This is the High Priestess in Reverse. And the Judgment in Reverse is the seven of wands in reverse so let's take a look at this so this masculine here remember he knows he has to be more sturdy and grounded to be with this divine feminine he's working on his shadow work he's really doing his best here you are my other half he wants to win this okay he knows that they're look at the two keys here they both unlock each other divine feminine and divine masculine hold the keys okay into this greatest abundance so he's he's somewhat hiding this is hidden right now in the high priestess he's using his intuition he's um this high priestess is very guarded oh my god there's like a man's picture here wow i've never noticed the statue here do you see this statue with the pomegranate and he this divine feminine is standing here with his book of knowledge and he drank or he ate this pomegranate which is the forbidden fruit and it was t sitting in front of him and tempted him away from his divine feminine from that wisdom from that magical wisdom of intuition and how spirit speaks through divine feminine and he knows now that those two keys to unlock him to help him that wisdom is here sitting in um behind with the divine feminine it's, she has it she has the key so he wants to be victorious in this you with this with this card it's like you got to go through war and battle to be victorious in this okay so he is completely aware of that we have here in his heart space he's a prisoner of his abundance right now he feels completely trapped um we know that's not really the case you know um whenever you take action towards it you're not really trapped in anything there's always a way out of anything and this masculine i feel is starting to learn that about himself um that he he feels he may have trapped himself in this abundance but he's gained clarity here with the seven of cups that came up in reverse that he's he's seen that he's gone through all of these options over time he's like what do i do what do I do with all of this? I don't know what to do with all of this. The energy was so potent with the divine feminine, right? And we saw that in the messages that it was so potent. He didn't even know this kind of love existed. And 
Um, now he's like, okay, I see clearly I'm getting a plan in place. So spirit is guiding him. It's like the sun and the illumination is coming. And so that he can, he has his staff is being lit up here. Uh, literally. Okay. To my feminine, literally. Um, but he's gaining that passion and that balance here. This is him planning for his yin yang union here, you know, coming out of the trees and realizing he has to create and plan. But here he's like, he's ready to head out, even if it looks like a desert and there's no vegetation. He's like willing to head out in that. Okay. We have here that his love for you is deeper than the ocean for the viewer, divine feminine. And this karmic energy has been very difficult. It's like he's standing. It's like he's doing all the work. And this bitch is like sitting here with this cup going, I'm, it's like she withholds love as a ransom. You know, I hate when people do that. I'm not going to love you because we're fighting. Like how childish is this? This karmic is very childish. You don't love me. I'm going to withhold now mm, and throw a fit. This person's face looks like a, this would be a great thumbnail. Like this person's face is like, I'm going to turn my back and withhold my love. And you do all the work because you need to do that. And she's got all these swords here sitting in the front. Like, and if you don't, I'm going to take one of these swords and chop your head off, you know? And so he's realized that this is the energy that he's been dealing with. And it's that contrast has shown him his love for the divine feminine. He's gaining guidance here with those portals, with the, um, the illumination and um, being guided um, to spirit. You know, he's ready for a reconciliation because with this judgment card, it's not doubt. He may have doubted in the past here, but spirit is coming through very strong in the sun energy. We have seen the sun here as well, too, in this pile, mentioned it. And so he realized all the destruction of him avoiding with his having his guard up and defending his old. I mean, he's defending this little stupid rock like you, you cut up all kinds of people over this rock and he feels so guilty about who he's hurt along the way because he has denied his thank you his awakening his reconciliation with god with spirit he has to put an end to rebirth you know and become like that vulnerable child to come into judgment day and he re he was refusing it and because he refused it he's seeing that illumination now and that guidance because he refused that He's like, look how many people I hurt. My ego hurts. He's realizing his power in the contrast of the darkness. And when these masculines realize their power is sometimes the amount of destruction that they create because they're powerful, but because they are avoiding their true path and illumination. So let's clarify a little bit further with the divine feminine here. He knows in his mind, this is his person. We have the world in reverse. We have, I mean, the fool and the world in reverse. You see how I called that out? <laughs> I said the fool in reverse and I said the world. So obviously the world was about to come out. That's the magic that happens on here, guys. I suggest subscribing. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. I'm a very clear channel. So let's, um, yeah. So let's clarify a little bit further. So what's going on here is like, he knows that the keys are hidden. The gifts are hidden. He wants to win this with his divine feminine. He hasn't taken the leap of faith because he still has unfinished business of close, closing off a chapter here. But he, and so why is he taking a speed ass time with closing off this chapter here, spirit with the world? Cause that's what, that's what my viewers want to know, right? He's working at it. So he is the eight of pentacles. He's working and focus on that one pentacle. That's why he's not coming forward. He doesn't want to distract his energy from anything else. He's not offering any love. He's kind of slowly moving away. You know, it's like his one essence. I see this masculine is working in a split kind of energy. You know, he's acting one way to his, his world. And then he's like splitting it and like doing something else. So he's like <laughs> to the karmic. He's like. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing to you. Here's a little fish. Like, look at his face. Like, that's all I can offer you now is this little fish in this cup. But in his, in his communication into the darkness, he's slowly planning and moving away from this. He may have to be steady as he does this. We have the two of wands in reverse. He is thinking and, and realizing that he, again, very much like this, this three of wands looking ahead to the horizon and really starting to make plans for it. He's made a decision here. 
Okay, so he knows that. He knows who holds the key. He He's understanding that. And the reason he hasn't come forward is because he's really focused on that one pentacle. He's already done all of this other work. He's like, I just got to finish this. And so he's tired and he's frustrated and it's hard work. But that's why he hasn't come forward yet. So he feels trapped, but he's seeing a way out. He's seeing the clarity now and how to move forward. Why did he feel trapped, spirit? Because of investments. Okay, he was waiting for something to change or to grow, to reap some kind of benefit, financial abundance, or maybe a sell selling of something or stocks and bonds or something. But it's very clear to him now that that's not going to happen. Um, the King of Swords is very much aligned to his head and his heart. So he's understanding that he's not going to get this investment, whatever he put in. And so he feels a little trapped. He felt trapped, but... He's come into an illumination here, seeing clearly. What was this illumination that he sees clearly now in his heart? Right. It's holding him back that he had to just take responsibility. And if it was taking a financial loss or doing something, he has to do it because of this past energy we have here with the with the soulmate. And um, he knows based on past events now, it, the burdens that he carries, that he does not action okay, is very tiring. He has to take responsibility to heal and to move towards his destiny. And he sees that that's his only option. The divine feminine and his destined path is his only option to get out of this. So whatever other options that he had in the past, right? When he was like, yeah, I can do this and I can do that. He's, he's, he's tried everything and nothing has worked. And it's like process of elimination over time. This is why it's taken your masculine this long is what I'm feeling is he went through every option to process of elimination because this masculine is very logical. So he's using those analytical skills. You know, it kind of reminds me of SWAT. If you guys are a business analyst, you know, you use your strengths and your weaknesses. <laughs> and your opportunities and your threats you know you're like what are my swats and you analyze the situation i i still do that in real life i even do that in my relationships what's the strength of this person that i'm dating what's my <laughs> i do i do and you kind of have to unfortunately you can't follow the heart all the time right so there's a nice balance that's going on with this masculine about his past and knowing his um you know, the burdens here, he's getting, you know, he wants to come home and drop this burden, but he's taking the responsibility. He knows that he has to heal this and he's gained clarity now of how to move forward. How is he gained clarity of how to move forward her spirit? Can you give us a little bit more in his heart? He's letting go four pentacles. He's letting go of that entrapment. He doesn't care anymore. He's gained enlightenment by being stuck for a long time. Okay. So yeah, he was in this. He was in this. He's not quite ready. We still have a hangman energy. He's gained enlightenment. He, he hasn't got any help here to get some to time down. But he's he's letting go so his ships and his abundance can come in, right? The ships are coming in. Four of cups in reverse and the four of pentacles. That's foundation, too, that he knows he has to rebuild a foundation. And we saw that in the other reading um this morning you know at the right hand side that he's put an end to the foundation he just has to clear that up and that could be the investment energy too that he may have to cut his losses as well okay and so this hangman energy is still gaining he gained enlightenment out of this situation yeah that he has to make this decision. So by process of elimination, he's come to that conclusion now that he is going to make that decision, okay? And bring that karmic justice forward. Yeah, and get off this path with this page of wands in reverse. So let's take a look. With the karmic energy, he knows now that his love for the divine feminine is greater, deeper than the ocean. There's never ending. And that is the, um, and look at the death card. I'm looking at the death card here. So I think things have ended with this karmic order and take a look at karmic energies next. Um, but yeah, I think that it's always been, it's been very difficult. And that contrast that he had with this karmic energy showed him how deep you can go and the twin flame love and high divine soulmates it's like there's no ending it's all it's you constantly moving through the abyss of life because it's infinite creator force energy because it's creator force expressing through the both of you and when that happens and you're both aligned it's like that can go on for eternity because there's no end to creation 
we don't know where it begins we don't know where it starts so it's like it's your life partner it's your infinity partner it's your person that you can it's never going to be stagnant right so let's take a look here what is going on here can you clarify the drama trauma with this karmic energy and the contrast that it showed for the divine feminine so spirit is saying the pain the nine of swords with the conflict okay with that conflict was defeating energy the juggling back and forth and not noticing that all this masculine had to do was turn around for those ships to come in he feels it in his heart now that those ships are coming in and he's willing to just he doesn't care about this anymore he's starting to see it in his heart something is shifting in his heart he's seeing that this this was defeated this conflict okay um this pain defeated him in the midst of it, it's keeping him awake at night his juggling back and forth with this this masculine energy look at this with the emperor right at the top of the deck there bottom of the deck is the page of uh pentacles in reverse so his own rejection helped him rise his own pain the contrast and we need contrast in our life guys we can't just know what's right and do it that's um we don't even know what's right we don't know it's by experience right that's how we know we are experienced travelers of time and space on the cosmos space the final frontier am i gonna like out myself as a trekkie um <laughs> so yeah there's definitely um this contrast showed him what about this karmic energy he's not being in friends he's taking his cup away from this third party situation he's pulling his money back his investments back um, and he's avoiding a complete, he's hit the tower and he's just leaving it is what I'm getting to fall. He, all he had to do was pull back his investments and he's actioning that now. So that's in, in the first, um, hi birdie. In the first, um, this morning's read in the grid work, uh, spirit was saying, that he hasn't turned the wheel yet because the next thing is about his investments or he has to he's waiting for something still so he's done the first bit is what i'm getting here he's pulled back his abundance and that's going to hit to the karmic like boom in the friggin' head the mask is about to crack so there's a crack happening so when that foundation that foundation is about to go because he has pulled back his cup from this third party celebrating and friendship and community he's pulled this karmic energy out of his community he's cut he's cut something in community and money and working together so that he can manifest something okay and we have the moon in reverse so he's coming out of darkness um, and because of that, he's being offered light and nourishment and he's manifesting something. What is this that he's pulled the money back and from the karmic? We're going to get into the karmic energies next because that was one of the heaviest. Yeah, he's turned his back on her. He's recognizing that his fire can, I feel it's like a block of ice can melt any type of coldness. And so he's not showing her what he's doing. Yeah. See, it was just upright. Now it came out reverse. So he's being overly just nasty because the emperor in reverse is like, yeah, I was nice the whole time, but I am being nice to you anymore. Like, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. We're going to see what's going on with that. That's more energy that needs to clarify further. So let's see. He's gaining divine illumination and um getting yeah he's not doubting anymore he's realizing the contrast that he needs a renewal now because he's just destroyed a lot of things in his life here we have temperance in reverse and the five of cups in reverse so yeah something has grown here out of that darkness his regrets and his imbalance that um he knows he has to turn his back you know on this pride and ego it's just completely imbalanced and he's illuminated to that now okay he's completely illuminated to that now his imbalance in a foundation union with the divine feminine by pushing her away okay um this yeah the the dark the energy the moon now is upright look at that see i love how the, it's just magic on this channel guys like remember that was in reverse remember <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's why I like this deck. So the union was in the shadows and in the dark, okay? Um, blocked by the karmic energy here, ending a commitment, ending toxicity, 
yeah, for a, a new relationship here with the Divine Feminine. So um, that's the energy right now. He's still working with imbalance and ending his regrets. And the Divine Feminine is still physically stuck here and not coming into the 3D realm. So let's take a look here. Why is there still imbalance and ending of regrets? He knows he needs to communicate. So that's where he's at right now because he's planning his next action. He's per he's ready to persevere and move through this. Um, but he's, I think it's more in his material world right now. We have the Knight of Swords. He knows he needs to persevere and do this communication. Why is he not doing that? Yeah, he still has more inner work to do to hit the next level. Okay, so he has to go back into hermit mode to go to the next level. Remember, guys, awakening is and healing and integrating takes time, right? Humans want things fast. And I am not one of those healers to be like, I'll bring you into union tomorrow. No, I'm here to get you empowered, right? Healing and integration, especially high vibrational work like this, takes time. If you're really on the twin flame journey, you know that it takes time to heal, integrate. A veil is lifted, you integrate. It's how we have to learn how to be in life. Because that's just how energies work in the 3D plane. It is. So once you can accept that, the frustration on the Twin Flame journey starts to alleviate because you're like, okay, because you're not expecting things to happen based on, you know, your timing. It's based on God's timing, right? So let's take a look at what's going on with the karmic energies. I'm going to pause, take a sip of water, and we're going to see what is going on now with the masculine towards the karmic. This was his overall energy in 36 minutes. Like, I can't even... Um, yeah, I'm going to do this in parts. I'm going to do this in parts. I'm going to end this video here. Let's do that because it's already 36 minutes and I know, and then you guys can watch in your own time. Let's get some oracles here for this divine masculine. I was pulled to the star seed deck today and, um, yeah. And then we'll do the divine masculine towards the karmic and then the divine masculine towards the divine feminine. And um, then I will do all of that divine feminine stuff on the weekend. And that's how I think we're going to segregate these because, yeah, it's getting really potent details and I don't want to overwhelm and have super long videos. And plus I'm having some, like, they were having electrical issues here with all the storms and stuff. Some transponders in the community have gone out. And so thank God we have solar, but it takes shitload long to <laughs> upload on solar. So... All right, let's take a look here. My dad needs new batteries and he's gone to buy more stuff, pallets for the roof. So we'll see. Hopefully that'll fix the situation. So I'm in a weird transition piece with that. What about this masculine towards this overall energy on this twin flame journey spirit? What is going on with this masculine? Can you please give us some answers here? Some more oracles. That one wanted to flip. That was a weird shuffle. Wisdom. See your adversities as adversaries. Sorry, let's talk again. See your adversity. I have to read. Do you see what happens with my channel? See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. When I channel, I can't do anything with my logical mind. So here's the wisdom. There's the wisdom coming in. So that's exactly what he's been doing. He's been looking at the contrast. He's been looking at all of this. He knows who his divine feminine is at. And that's why you know, in these pictures here, he is starting to write, he's coming in, the, the, it's, it's alleviating from the feminine, you're starting to feel things, he's gaining his higher self, he's been working on, look at this, I didn't even notice this at the beginning, this energy, the divine feminine, is exactly what he's doing, he's clearing his masculine side, the right side is the masculine of the body, Okay, so look what he's doing. He's working on his shadow work. He's being diligent about it. And look at how it's clearing on the right side. And look at the divine feminine is feeling it in the merging of their energies. Wow, guys. I didn't even see that before. Wisdom. See how much things come through? Like, wow. Channel. You are a channel through which healing energies reaches the world. He's a natural healer. He knows that this connection is about healing and somehow bigger than him. Something for the collective here. 
sign see he's following the signs and his intuition the universe has been greatly nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities go listen to the cold play song gravity it's so beautiful i felt that's the essence of this divine masculine that he is trusting and praying and allowing universe to bring that together we have no limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is so much for you to share. So this masculine is really starting to feel some type of ignition within him. Let's see what else. Spirit is pulling you to these cards. Yeah. We're going to pull some angel answers and we're going to do some of these oracles all right so think of it think of an, a question we'll see if spirit will answer <laughs> it's not always that we get that but we'll try <sighs> where's the divine masculine at currently please spirit for the twin flame collective update for this week and this is for the next week okay whenever i post these um, I try to get them out on Monday, but I, again, I've been booking up pretty fast, so I have to flow and put them out when I get called, just so you guys know, so I can't make an actual schedule. Let's see, what is going on, Spirit? What other messages here to close off this reading for the Divine Masculine? Yeah, wow. Potent energies, guys. Spring equinox and dawn, rebirth and new beginnings. Look at that. He's shifting. He knows. So this is an, he's still purging. Remember that just because somebody chooses a new path, it still takes time to heal and to integrate. He has been in a dark space. So this is rebirth, transformation, a new dawn. This is very much about these energies. Look at this. Looking out to look at this, the dawn, the sun coming in. Okay, planning, looking ahead to his future. Yeah, that's where he's at. All right, guys, let's ask a question. Let's see what spirit has to say. This is for my viewer spirit. You may want to pause the video here if you need time to just breathe in and ask your question. Um, have it to be a yes or no question, and we'll see. Spirit, how would you like to answer all my viewers on this question, please? What is the best answer? that you can say it would be great if you could give us a yes or a no sometimes they make sentences out of these cards for me so we'll see what they say that would be that would be nice magical touch their spirit let's see what would you like to say what is their answer please for my viewers oh we did get a time marker guys okay we did get a time marker we got big happy changes are coming here in this connection, okay? Listen to your intuition. You got to follow that intuition. You got to transform so you're not listening to 3D stuff in the mind, right? You got to take these readings with a grain of salt and move forward in your own situation. Within the next few months, there's going to be changes when we forgive. All right, guys, I'm going to get on with the karmic reading. This has been great. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. If you want to work with me, send me an email down below and we can work something out. I will be starting readings again because of the amount of people that have been wanting readings. So I'm here to serve. You asked, I shall provide. Just give me a couple weeks to organize my clients and stuff. And yeah, comment down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.